And we are back on SmackDown. One on one action between Silver Viper and Carmelo Hayes of the Island Wrestling Federation. You know the words that have been spoken about these two from both sides. CIM versus the AWS is official. It is booked for August 31st. War Games. CIF assembling their teams. Carmelo Hayes can very much well so be one of these guys. You've seen the CIF in the back and whatnot ever since they started being allowed to hang around. However, if they strike anybody when out outside of the front competition, matches off on certain grounds. On certain grounds. Yeah, I know, right? Smackdown being that. The SmackDown being the only ground, actually. This is the only peace ground. Everywhere else, there's potential striking grounds for Monday AWO, unless Kingsley gives a damn about safety. Silver Viper, who better to feel out competition first, I guess, now that they're getting the shots are up. This is basically Olympics. These are basically qualifying matches. Who's getting on the team? Who's good enough to run the full race? And you took the words right out of my mouth. I was just about to say, I know the Olympics just wrapped up. But this, this war, this tension brewing between AWF and CIF has got me feeling awfully patriotic right now. And I hope Silver Viper feels the same way. Because he's going to need all the motivation he can get for this man. You know, I, I tried to get a word from Silver Viper about Carmelo Hayes. And he said he didn't know who he was. And, well, he just looks forward to just to get in the ring. Doing what he has to do. Big, big, big mistake. If there's one thing Carmelo Hayes hates, it's when people do not know who he is. And how could you know who he is? I know who this young man is. I've been following this young man ever since he was on the Indies as Christian Casanova. All right. Well, let's just say Sim Rapper's time. Uh, he, he, he knows who, he, who is important to him, so to say. You know. Mankind, Stone Cold, Taker, so on, so Hunter Helmsley. I'm pretty sure he couldn't name the young lady on the right of the title cards didn't say it on the replay. Carmelo Hayes is going to be very important to Silver Viper in a matter of moments. And Roxanne Perez, we know, is the World Women's Heavyweight Champion over there on TIF. It's no disrespect to either of them. I mean, just, it's certainly not, but I'm just saying. You know, the young folks are going to take it as a disrespect. One of one, that sums up how the people feel about Carmelo Hayes. And again, they're representing the Island Wrestling Federation tonight. This, this is booming grounds. This is bragging rights. I'm pretty sure... Oh, what is this, Dragon Ball? This is too, it's funny at first, but come on. CIF showing... Surprise, Carmelo Hayes isn't jealous that he's standing next to a world champion. Well, I mean, we certainly know, or at least I certainly know, Carmelo Hayes has an ego the size of Texas. Well, oh, not even. I think I, I think both AWF, I think you need the AWF and TIF to contain the ego that he's got. And here they squabble up for the first time. Oh! Turning spin kick and Carmelo Hayes misses that. Tried it. And that's what you're going to get. Carmelo Hayes, he's fast, he's spry, he's agile. He's super viper. And he hits hard. He's the type to slow down a match, take it to his pace, take it to his tempo. He gets right there, the, the drop. Well, listen, if, if Carmelo Hayes determines his pace. Jump oh! shot! Hookstone coming up the leg! If Carmelo Hayes determines his pace, this match will be anything but slow. You can see right there. Oh! KO! Hayes just went sky high, right into a cutter. Mentioning AG and Ice House Jones. Uh, on the ringside watching this matchup. You know, interesting for Silver Viper to be so, you know, again, he's, he doesn't quote unquote care as much as he should of how A.G. Jones won the title. You know, he was, he moved on. He set his sights for bigger things, money in the bank he competed in. And now, oh, this matchup here against Carmelo Hayes. Well, he's got to start caring. You know, that's my thing with Silver Viper. He's not a take things personal kind of guy. But when, it, when you're in the AWF, you gotta take everything personal. Because the only everything thing he is personal. The only thing he took personal was the Rally Rock bout, and it got him a loss. And then it, that was about that Rally Rock cared about more than him. He went in for the quest because he felt he he had to take care of it at that point. But well, why he is that? Rally Rock was the guy who threw the first shot in their matchup. I know Silver Viper is the one who drove him. 
But nevertheless, off the ropes, Carmelo Hayes is gonna miss. Willie Rock is to blame for Silver Viper not being a tag team champion and right here he now. Comes. Oh, oh wow! Silver Viper just put Carmelo Hayes on notice. Poison Rana from Silver Viper shoots the double leg into the Widowmaker. Many have fallen to it. And the rope break is going to save Carmelo. And Hayes managing to meet the rope break. Roxanne Perez looking on. A.G. Jones taking notes. You know, good on him. And oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Look at this. Look at this. A Silver Viper. Viper. The single leg busting grab combined, it looks like. Silver Viper, no shortage of wrestling holds. His father, Crimson Cobra, the legendary from the Memphis scene. Oh! First 48. And you don't need a lot of evidence to determine what happened here, folks. And neither does Carmelo Hayes to see. He still has to continue this damn match. Oh, and he no. missed. Hayes missed. Viper perhaps going for the Widowmaker again. And Hayes not letting him get it. That'd be a fatal maneuver. But again, jump shot. Hook in the leg. No rope break. And here's Newton with the cover. And One, two. Be. AG, Ice House looking on. Roxanne looking on the Women's World Heavyweight Champion. Carmelo Hayes has Silver Rapper right where he wants it. This is a proven gallant. Will Carmelo Hayes get the win for TIF? He has Viper Silver Viper where up. he wants him. He's climbing up. Missed. Silver Viper with a nice dodge there. Soccer kick to the back. And the hitman is going to start picking apart Hayes, but Hayes is going to have none of it. Close over DDT. Impressive maneuver. Silver Viper just right back up. Running him in into a boot. People of the AWF behind Viper. Man, the kick to Mello from Mello. Subs him off. Carmelo Hayes. This has really been a back and forth match between a veteran and a, and a relative rookie, for being honest. What does he have here? Grabs him. Oh, wait, Silver Viper. No way. Oh! Oh, wow! That's an old school move. Launching Hayes right into the middle rope. He's got him doozy. And Carmelo taking it from old, from new school to old school. Widowmaker up Right into the web of the Widowmaker. Carmelo Hayes is forced to tap right here on SmackDown. How does it feel to tap out to a man that turns 40 next month, Carmelo Hayes? Well, listen. I'll say this right now. That Widowmaker is timeless. It is indeed. Look at that. Turns it around and it was elementary from there. Silver Viper with the win here on SmackDown. Good way to improve the AWF morale heading into August 31st Survivor Series. And it is a spectacle to see. What the hell is AJ Jones celebrating for? He didn't do a damn thing. He saw his older cousin get a win, did he not? Right? Did he not? He, he, that's something nice. Well, what did he contribute is what I'm asking. You know, Ice House Jones is, is a intercontinental champion as of right now, but A.G. Jones is nothing but a runt. You have more SmackDown up next, folks.